Bear Country 95.3, stand by for high school football tonight here on Bear Country. It's Greenfield at Franklin Tech. That game is coming up on Bear Country 95.3. That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does the hat star spangled banner her yet wave? Or the land of the free and the home of the brave? For the Eagles, number three, Nolan Stafford. And number 20, 21, Maxon Burnett. Mason coming, kicking off for GHS the Greenway.
Brought down by number 10, Mason Cumming. Loss of two on the play will bring up a second and 12. And DHS 44 yards. Tyler Yetter brought it down to the 
Good evening, everyone. It's high school football on Bear Country 95.3. Tonight's broadcast from Franklin County Technical School as the Franklin County Tech Eagles take on the Greenfield Green Wave. Well, we're at Franklin County Technical School. My name is Kevin from Bear in the Morning, and we're here for a big matchup between Franklin County Tech and the Greenfield Green Wave. Already some scoring in the game. We apologize for joining the broadcast late here on Bear Country 95.3. But my good friend, Sean Hubert, has been taking notes well, and, and, and been watching closely, haven't you? I'll tell you what, we were, we were going to talk in a pregame about how Greenfield looked so good against Maha last week. And the two broadcasts have been on Bear. They have they beat Frontier. They beat Maha. They look really good. We, this is going to be a great game. And <laughs> guess what? It's 16 0 for Franklin Tech. We'll get you caught up. But it's been all Franklin Tech. Greenfield has not had an offensive possession yet in this game. Well, all right. So it's an onside kick. Greenfield picking up the ball at the 46 yard line. And that's where we will start off. So immediately, right off the bat, Franklin Tech, Josiah Little. Returned a punt all the way down to the 21 yard line of Greenfield. And there they made short work, couple of runs, and it was little on a nine yard touchdown run. That was with 10.05 to play here in the first quarter. Two, uh, two point conversion was a pass from Yetter to Smar, made it 8 0. And just as we came on, Tyler Yetter with a three yard touchdown run and a Josiah a little two point conversion. It is 16 0 as Greenfield takes the field now on offense for the first time. And uh, that's going to be their quarterback. Quarterback Cummings. takes it up. He gets about, about three or four yards for Cummings on the play. Again, the score is 16-0 right now. Franklin County Tech is in the lead. This will be second down. Caleb Murray was not suited up last week for that game against Mahar. Again, big win for Greenfield there. And uh, he is suited up and starting. We will see both Mason Cummings and Caleb Murray at quarterback. As right now it is Mason Cummings. Second down out of the shotgun. Goes back and throws. He's got an open receiver. Got the, he has the first down. He's brought off side of the field. That is Caleb Murray with the first down for Greenfield. And Greenfield getting that first down that they really needed. Right. Start this possession off on a positive note. Absolutely, and that's the thing that having Murray away from the quarterback spot, you can use him. He's awfully quick. They've got some athletes, this Greenfield team, and I know they're down 16 right now, but a good drive here. They can get themselves right back into the game. First down for Greenfield. Out of the shotgun again. Murray hands it off. Number 84 with the ball up the middle. He get, number 84, number 84 for Greenfield. Uh, gets a little bit farther up the field, uh, but gets tripped up just short of the uh, first down, about three yards to go. Uh, again, a couple of games that we've seen. Angel, just a sophomore, 5'11, 185 pounds. And they play a power run game with him right there. Picks up six on first down, with the second and four. Again from the shotgun, the Murray goes back, has the open man in midfield, running down, brought down by a, a pair of Eagles. 
And that will be first down. Now let's check that flag first. Mason Cummings missed his first five passes last week, but then he went on a tear, completing seven in a row in that route of the Senators. Flag was in the backfield. Yeah, so it's oh, and the passer call on the Franklin County Tech Eagles. So it's going to be first and goal for the Greenfield Green Wave. Greenfield Green Wave looking to respond. It's been 16 unanswered points so far by the Franklin County Tech Eagles. After that opening score, they did an onside kick, got the ball back, marched down and scored again. So again, first chance on offense for Greenfield. It looks pretty good right now. Caleb Murray, the senior. Out of the shotgun again. First and goal, man in motion. Murray takes the ball, runs up the front, tackled by two, doesn't get too far, maybe a yard or two for Murray. That's Cummings, Wyatt 10. Whitman, that Mason Cummings. Mason Cummings, with no. Cummings with the run yeah, what there. What happens here is so Caleb Murray wore 10 last year. And that's what happened. Oh, they're not there. messing with the numbers yeah, again, are they? No, yeah, so you look at that, you go, yeah, we did that a couple times last week. Yeah, Jeff was telling me. <laughs> just, <laughs> he really was embarrassed. He wore that last year, <laughs> and it looks like him, and uh, it wasn't him. So we've got to give him full credit. That was Cummings, number 10. All right, Cummings, again. Goes back, looking for the open receiver. Man in motion, just a couple feet over the receiver's head. Eric Martino, he had it each week. About three weeks ago when we were there in Greenfield, he caught a touchdown pass. He returned an interception for a touchdown. He was a one-man wrecking crew against Frontier. and He missed last week's game as well. So they get another athlete on the field. Brior, they got Patel out there to throw the ball too as well. They got some weapons. Greenfield with third down. Looking for their first score of the game. Two minutes and nine seconds uh, left in the quarter. Lots of discussion in the huddle. They break. Take a of time there. Cummings. Cummings and looks like Politis, right. Politis in the backfield. Politis gets the ball and gets met quickly by about five, maybe six Eagles. They read that the whole way, Sean. You're going to say it quickly and many of them. Yeah, he had at least three guys on him immediately. Another couple guys come up to help. There were five guys tackling him in the back. You lost there. Now, what do you do? Fourth down. you got to go, obviously. You're down by two touchdowns inside the 10-yard line. But a uh, big, big play here early in this game. Franklin County Technical School. We've been talking about this broadcast all week long. Two of uh, Franklin County's hottest teams right now in high school football. So they're going to go for it on fourth down. Cummings goes back. Oh, it looks like oh, he avoids two tackles. Can't avoid a third. Throws the ball up. And was that a catch? I think that was an incomplete pass, but he was on his way down. And he was fortunate that thing wasn't picked off. Yeah, that was a bit of a dangerous throw there by Cummings. He, uh, he was pretty desperate. Yeah, that was it. He was just in the, he was in the grasp. He was going down. And actually, that's a pretty good throw coming out of that mess. But yeah, it came a little bit shy of the receiver that was flashing across the front of the end zone. Never really had a chance to get to that ball. Franklin County Tech going to be deep in their own zone right now. And of course, the other big story coming into this one was Josiah Little. And Rushing for a thousand yards as freshman, sophomore, and junior year. He needed 10 yards in this one to reach a thousand already this season. He got 23 yards already here in the first quarter. Jeff cannot stop talking about it. It's that amazing. Kid. It's a, it really is amazing. All right, they go back. Ball will get, gets run up for a couple of yards. There on the carry. All right, so I started researching this, Kevin, after his sophomore year and his junior year. In this area, we had never seen it happen. Mm -hmm. And as Aldine had pointed out, freshmen never played football until 1980. Oh, so wow. there were not many freshmen that had the opportunity, and sure. even now not many freshmen play. And for him to have done that, the only person I came up with so far that I can verify that did it is Derek Henry. Clock is running, 41 seconds left in the quarter. Second down for the Greenfield Green Wave. Ball's handed off, gets one block, can't get through the second. Going to be a couple of yards left for a first down. It'll be third down. 30 yards on the ground for Josiah. So, again, that puts him over the 1,000-yard mark for his fourth consecutive season. 
Yeah, certainly unprecedented. Gibbs just runs and runs and runs. Uh, and again, even as a freshman, you know, we get some numbers we can talk about him as a, as a freshman. But this Greenfield team on this field held him to five yards his freshman year. Wow. Carried the ball 11 times for five yards as a freshman against Greenfield. You and your notes, Sean. Very impressive. I, you know, actually, I'm talking about it for the game. Uh, we have a timeout on the field. That's going to be taken by the way. Oh, right. in the corner. I apologize. All right, let's take a break here from the... Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard for here at Franklin County Technical School. It's the Eagles 16. It's the Green Wave nothing. This is live high school football on Bear Country 95.3. back at Franklin County Tech for the big matchup tonight in high school football on Bear Country 95.3. Brought to you by Greenfield Savings Bank, Teddy Bear Pools and Spas, and your local CarQuest location. Franklin County Tech is the site, the Greenfield Green Wave, looking to derail the Tech season. But it's not going well so far. After one quarter, it's Tech 16 and the Greenfield Green Wave nothing. And Tech responding on the first play of the second Quarter. That was a 40 yard run, 9 carries, 70 yards for him, and a touchdown already. And number 20, Little has it again. Gets about five on the play as he takes the ball to the uh, outside. Tackled by number 30 on Greenfield. Green Wave. Number 30, he's uh, the guy from Franklin Tech, also through the block. That threw somebody onto their backside, allowed Joe to get around the corner there. Game six on that carry, second and four now for Franklin Tech. And we'll see if the Greenfield Green Wave can put a stop to this streak that they have going on. Seems to be marching down the hill. It's a fake, and it's a handoff. Handoff and tackle by the sideline. That was the that was number thirty, Nathan Sobolevsky, the junior. Yeah, he's the other right guy that gets the majority of the carries behind. You got Joe Liga, Max Burnett. Burnett didn't have carry yet tonight, but Sabinowski, that's his fourth first carry. He's got 11 yards. And uh, yeah, they're under center for the first time in this game. By the way, over, under on how many names I mispronounced tonight? Oh, it's hey. 10. No, no, okay. no I'm, I'm not taking the under. I'm going under, but you got one already. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Third down and the run. There's Max. Burnett with a run to the right side. Again, Max Burnett, Joe Little, very similar build. Joe Little, 5'4", 135. Max is 5'5", 135. Little back out on the field now. Very similar running styles. That was Max's first carry of the game. Give him about four yards on that. First down. Third down. Third down. Third down. Tyler yeah, Yetter's only thrown one pass so far tonight. Haven't had to throw the ball. Been running it up and down the field so far against this Greenfield defense. Tyler Yetter, the senior on the Franklin County Tech Eagles. And the ball snapped quick. And not too far. Southwest again on that carry. Nathan coming. Gain of a yard there, so a dozen yards now for Nate. The junior trying to just run straight up, trying to find a hole. Nothing fancy right now. And if you're Franklin Tech, yeah, I mean, you, you put yourself this 16 nothing lead. You got the ball deep in Greenfield territory. Not going to be any big hurry, but you want to convert this third down. Keep yeah. this thing going. You know, why not eat up clock while you can? Yeah. Third down and three. Franklin County Tech. Get it under center again. Goes back. Passes the ball off and tripped up the runner. Maybe a yard, maybe. Josiah again. Fourth and two for the Franklin County Tech Eagles. Yeah, Josiah's freshman year, he needed 249 yards on Thanksgiving morning to reach 1,000 yards. Ran for 252 that morning. Finished the season with 1,003 yards as a freshman. Franklin County Tech breaks the huddle. Coming to the line, looking for two yards. 
two yards for first down. And the ball snapped. Goes back. It's going to run with it. He's going to try to grab that first down. Did he get it, Sean? Yeah, I think he did. Not a designed run, but they kind of opened up on that outside. The receivers kind of dragged the defense down with them. Gave them enough time to kind of tiptoe out of bounds without even getting hit after a gain of about four and a first down. Yeah. So Franklin County Tech with a new set of downs. And Tyler Yetter back out on the field. Yetter up to the line. The high formation, Sobolewski with little behind him. Yetter calling for the snap. Back, hands it off to Little. Little right up the front. And he is close to another first down. Yeah, 15 down yards, that will be good for the first down. Yeah, down to the one. Yeah, right at the one. Call the on the green wave, one yard line. One yard line, our friend Kevin helping us out here in the broadcast booth. Oh, yeah, always helpful. And does a pretty good national anthem, too, in case you've never heard that. A couple of different times. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Couple. Couple. In, in different venues. Too. Yes, absolutely. So the Greenfield Green Wave looking to stop the Eagles right here on the one yard line. First and goal. First and goal for the Eagles. And he tries to sneak it right in. Waiting for the call. Yetter gets enough. And that will be touchdown for Tyler Yetter, the senior quarterback. He just stuck the ball right up there. He, he could see the, the end zone. Second time today, Yetter snuck one in there. Again, first touchdown run was Josiah Little. That was a nine-yarder. Gave him the 6-0 lead to get the two-point conversion. And yeah, Yetter, a three-yard run. Made it 14 and nothing. They cashed in on the two points there again. And now Yetter, a two yard keeper. Franklin Tech is just pouring on right now. All right. Looking for Tech on two more. Play is called. Ball is snapped. And Yetter goes back. Yetter goes back. He's going to try and run it in himself. Oh, and a big tackle right at the line. <laughs> but they said he got in. Oh, wow. Yeah. The Line judge is raising his arms. That's going to be two for the Franklin County Tech squad. So that's three unanswered scores now for Franklin four County nothing Tech. 24 nothing. The Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. We're going to take a quick break. Here from the Lundgren Honda broadcast booth at the Franklin County Tech School. Franklin County Tech 24, the Greenfield Green Wave 0. High school football on Bear Country 95.3. Number 12 with the ball, that's Pierce Patel. And on the tackle, number 87, Brayden Gamona. And we are back at Franklin County Tech School for the Friday night high school football matchup between the Franklin County Tech Eagles at the Greenfield Green Wave from the Lundgren Honda Broadcast Booth. My name is Kevin from Bear in the Morning. I'm here with Sean Hubert. And uh, this is uh, the Greenfield Green Wave in their third possession of the game. Trying to get something on this uh, Franklin County Tech team. Politis is carrying the ball. He's getting roughed up. Ball came out. I think Franklin Tech got it. And that would be the last thing that the they Greenfield did. Green Wave they did. needs right now. They are uh, deep in their own zone. And by three scores. The Franklin County Tech Eagle. Eagles all over the ball runner. And we're able to pick up the fumble. Well, Ted Politis has been having a great season. He's a strong runner, but he just started getting pushed back. And he got held up, and the ball came out. And absolutely Franklin Tech with it. A huge defensive play, a three-score game already. And they take over in Greenfield territory right around the 26-yard line. Yep, first and down for the Franklin County Tech Eagles. Quarterback 
Yetter goes back, hands off, hands off to Little. Little is still moving, having a hard time getting a tackle. The Greenfield Green Wave. And uh, it looks like Little was able to get the first down. Yeah, big hit by Martin O at the Martin end, but not before Josiah got 14 yards. So that puts him at 105 yards here in the first half. Yeah, with uh, six uh, minutes and 37 seconds uh, left at halftime here at Franklin County Tech. Just the Greenfield Green Wave, they need a big stop right wow. now. They, well, yeah, they, they got to catch their breath and stop the Seagull team. The offense, uh, again, Franklin Tech stopped right at the doorstep. Not going well for the wave right now. Yeah, they're under center. Back. And a, a bit of a trick play there. He had the ball in his hand and up and around and uh, handed the ball off, but didn't get too far on the runner. Kind of did the fake pass thing. Sobolewski with the, uh, with the maybe, maybe not even a yard. Still second and 10. Tyler Yetter back out on after getting the signal from the Franklin County Tech head coach, Joe Gamash. No gain on that last play, so it'll be second and 10. And the snap. Yetter, handing off. Handing off to Little, who gets tackled right away. Maybe, well, maybe got back to, maybe got back to uh, the, the line, but not much more. No gain there, so yeah, again, Josiah over 100 yards here in the first half. His season, week one against McCann, he ran for 181 yards. Next week against Frontier, 186. Pathfinder, 21 carries, 273 yards against Athol. He had 200 yards in last week against Ben Palmer, 150 yards to get him to the 990 coming into this one. Greenfield looking for a big stop. It's third down, third and 10. And the handoff, handoff to Little. Little is looking for some blocking, gets some, able to get five yards. Oh, and a big tackle right on the sideline there. Little gets about five on the play. So it's going to be fourth down. Cummings coming across, making a, a big hit there on Little. 15th carry of the game for, here for Little. So it's going to be fourth and five. Break the tech obviously going to go here. Little getting the instructions on how they're going to get these five yards. A little pat on the back for Tyler Yetter. As he brings the play back to his offensive line and teammates. Yetter's only had to throw the ball once tonight. Completed that for seven yards. Actually through a two-point conversion pass as well. So two passes tonight so far for Yetter. Yetter under setter. And the snap. Yetter. Looking to the outside, looking for an open receiver. He's got someone in his face. The ball goes out of bounds. I had Josiah Little over there and tried to just give a little touch pass, try to get it over the lineman there. And Josiah feels like he should have caught that ball. Now Josiah Little caught a ball his freshman year. He caught one ball his sophomore year. He didn't get one last year. No. We waited, we waited, we waited, and then so, finally, uh, so he's a yeah, they don't throw to him very often. Uh, that might be the third time they've thrown him all season long. And yeah, I guess, our, you know, again, you got some guys up here to play some ball, and maybe that's why they just don't throw them very up. But a kick and run, right? So just give them the ball let them run. All right, Greenfield with the big stop, the big stop that they needed. They're deep in their own side of the field now. Nine plays they've run on offense. Again, had one piece and drive stopped by Franklin Tech. They need a long drive here. Yeah, long drive, and they have four minutes left in the in the quarter to do that. Ball is Good handed run. off and Politis. not many yards. Yeah, Plytus there. Got a little bit of room up the middle again. He's strong a couple yards he after he gets contact. Five, yeah, not terrible for first down. Second and five. Eight yards now on four carries for Politis. We can get him going. That really opens up the passing game for the Greenfield offense as well. It's going to be second and five. A little bit shotgun here with Cummings from the shotgun. Scans his receivers. He has one open, and the pass is caught. And it's a brought out to the 45-yard line by the Greenfield Green Wave. That's yeah, a great throw right there by Cummings. We saw him last week. He got that geared up, and he completed his last seven or eight passes. And right there, he just laid it out. 
Beautifully thrown, great catch, and a big play there for the Greenfield offense that really needed one. So that was Caleb Murray with the catch. And as Sean mentioned, yeah, the big play that the Greenfield Green Wave needed with 3.11 left. Crockett's running. He's caught two of the passes right. that have been completed by Cummings for 48 yards. Almost at midfield. Greenfield Green Wave. Flag is thrown. There was motion. It looked like it was number seven, Murray, again. And that is going to be the first penalty of the game. So very cleanly played game so far. Be a five-yarder against the Greenfield offense. So that stalls the uh, Green Wave offense. As they were close to midfield, they'll be back now on their 35. 247 to go clock roll. Greenfield does have all three of its first half timeouts remaining. Greenfield and from the shotgun again. There's Cummings. Murray in motion. Cummings out to Patel. Patel running down the corner, down the sideline. He needs one more player. He's out of the sideline. Now we'll see if that stands. Chris Patel made some athletic plays last week. And this here is going to be good for, let's see, 30, 40, 45 yards if it stands. We're going to check the flag now. Officials gather. I'm thinking that's going to go against the green wave. I think this is coming back. Oh, no. Now the team is walking back. They know. It's an illegal shift. And that will be called uh, on the greenfield green wave. Too bad it was a quite the run there by Patel. Yeah, great throw again, Cummings. And he only had to break one more tackle and he would have been in the end zone. We had we saw him score an athletic touchdown last week. Same thing, leaping down the sideline. Looked like he might have stepped out but didn't. Kept his feet. And boy, is he, he's quick and uh, smart when he gets the ball. But there, a penalty was committed away from the ball. It's going to cost Greenfield a big game there. It's going to be first and 20 now for them. Two minutes, 23 seconds left in the quarter. Franklin County Tech 24, Greenfield Green Wave nothing on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. My name is Kevin from Bear in the Morning here with Sean Hubert. The big game of the week. We have Franklin County Tech Eagles and the Greenfield Green Wave under the lights here at the Tech School. And the ball is handed off. And it's a fake. Oh, it's on the other side of the field. Cummings able to get the run. Eight yards on the play. Mason Cummings. Well, he made up to ten from the uh, penalty yards as well, so... That's going to be a 18-yard gain on that one. So two yards. Wow. Boy, they need that. And then we'll get another set of downs, a minute 56 uh, left until the half. So good time. Again, they get the timeouts. Ball now up to their own 47-yard line. 48, 47. There's yeah, somewhere in there. But we're going to get it to the 50 for the first down. But now much more manageable. Mason Cummings again out of the shotgun. Scans his receivers. Man in motion is Cummings. Again to B Patel. Patel not able to get far. Not even maybe back to the line of scrimmage. He was smothered right after he caught that one. Patel. Deep line up to make a play there. Maddox Whitman in on that tackle. First guys to get there, but again, two, three tech eagles all over Patel there after he made the catch. Hit him. Couple it's there. It'll be third down and three. And the Greenfield Green Wave. Now with 59 seconds left to halftime. Slow to get to the line. Yeah, Greenfield Green time. Wave has to move now. 51 seconds. Third and three. And now a timeout taken timeout. by Greenfield. All right. Timeout on the field, and we'll take a timeout here from the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's the Greenfield County Tech Eagles 24. The Greenfield Green Wave nothing. High school football in Bear Country 95. Great. And we're back at Franklin County Tech for the big high school football matchup between the Eagles and the Greenfield Green Wave. Greenfield Green Wave with 44 seconds left in the first half, trying to get to midfield, trying to answer the Franklin County Tech Eagles in this matchup. My name is Kevin from Bear in the Morning. It's going to be fourth down and three. Sean, yeah, can the Greenfield Green Wave put something together here? I'll tell you what, they just need to play right now. Cummings tried to hit Murray on a slant for the first down out of the timeout there. I guess the good news on that play is the ball 
being incomplete stops the clock, but 41, 44 seconds left. Reef has got to make this first down. All right, again from the shotgun. Ball is hiked, man in motion is Patel. Ball's out. Oh, and it's a, and it looks like Franklin County Tech, they might, they have possession of that ball. Yeah, bad exchange, it came out. Tech Eagles all over it, and now the official says, yes, Franklin Tech ball. So the second turnover of the half for the Greenfield Green Wave. Just when they get a, a bit of, well, a bit of steam and get some yards. And, Maybe able to answer the Franklin County Tech Eagles before halftime, the shown, turnover. They've shown some flashes of, of life here today, even on that drive there. Uh, again, Franklin Tech stopping them at the doorstep there on the on the best drive of the night, an eight play drive, the first drive of the night. Came up empty there, now Franklin Tech take the ball from their own 45, with just 35 seconds to play in the half. Franklin County Tech, again, already in the green wave side of the field. Their zone, the the hike is a little high, handoff is quick. Not able to get back to the line of scrimmage is little. And the Franklin County Tech Eagles will take a timeout. We will too from the Lundgren Honda scoreboard. It's the Franklin County Tech Eagles 24 and the Greenfield Green Wave zero. High school football on Bear Country 95.3. And we're back at Franklin County Tech for the high school matchup between the Eagles and the Greenfield Green Wave with 30 seconds left in the first half. The Franklin County Tech Eagles throwing the ball and is it a catch? No catch, no catch for the Eagles as they tried to get a quick penalty off. They still have 23 seconds yeah, left and little, little trying to get something through here. Trickery there, yeah, pitch the ball over there to Nolan Stafford. Stafford, a lefty, try to Hit his receiver over here. Wouldn't have been enough for the first down, but would have been kind of a fun little play instead. It's going to be an incomplete pass. So 23 seconds here in the first half. And Franklin Tech will have a third and we'll go about 12 or 13. Again, the Greenfield Green Wave just looking for that, that big stop. One more big stop uh, before halftime. Big crowd on hand here at the Tech School, as expected. A lot of chatter about this Tech team. And in motion. And the handoff and the throw is in and out of the hands of the receiver no play there for tech and do we have a flag yeah, i'm trying to see who that was yeah that was silva and yeah you're right that was kind of right in and out of his hand so just the second pass of the night for tyler yetter yeah. now 19 seconds left and it's four fourth down and 13 yards to go. I mean, the Green Wave might have another chance to get the ball back. Yeah, if you pick, you might just want to let that clock run out, not risk giving Greenfield the ball back. Let's see what they do here on fourth and long. All right, the play is called. They're at the line. And timeout, taken timeout is taken by the Franklin timeout. County Tech Eagles, mm -hmm. and we'll take a timeout too uh, as we check out the Lundgren Honda Barncast booth here at Franklin County Tech for the first time for me ever. It's we'll high school football on we'll Bear Country 95.3. We're back at the Franklin County Tech School. It was fourth down with just 13 seconds left in the first half. And after the timeout, Franklin County Tech elected to punt the ball. Yeah, Alan Everett just picked that thing out of the air, but Alan, excuse me, and he took a pretty big hit. He got up, and now he's gonna get down on one knee, and I think he got the wind knocked out of him there. Took a big hit, ball came out, but his teammate was able to cover it up. Politis jumped on it. I thought it was calling for a fair catch, but uh, evidently not. No. He got hit pretty hard uh, by the Franklin County Tech Eagles. He's able to get up now. Nine point nine seconds left here in the, the first half. Again, he'll come jogging off the field. Or he's got the coach arm around him. Walks off the field, but looks okay. Yep. Greenfield Green Wave. Everett is the Allen rather is the uh, the senior on this. Well, a couple of pretty pretty senior ahead of me this Greenfield Green Wave team. On their own 29 yard We only have nine seconds left in the half, and it's been all Franklin County Tech Eagles so far. Let's see what comes out of the playbook here for the Greenfield Green Wave as they come to the line. So 
for Caleb Miller. He's going off the field for Greenfield as well. Cummings. Cummings back. Hands off. Trying to get some big yards. The big guy carries down a couple of Franklin County Tech players as he gets about five yards, and that will be the end of the first half. First half is in the books here at the Franklin County Tech School. Friday night, high school football on Bear Country 95.3. The Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard at the half. The Franklin County Tech Eagles 24. The Greenfield Green Wave 0. We'll be back with more on Bear Country 95.3. And we are back at Franklin County Tech. It's high school football, Friday night high school football on Bear Country 95.3. Halftime here at the Tech School with the Franklin County Tech Eagles out in front 24 to nothing. Uh, game started off pretty exciting for uh, Franklin County Tech and the, the team uh, here on their home field. What do you say, Sean? Yeah, Franklin Tech, again, you, you thought this might be a, a good game the way Greenfield's been playing, but Franklin Tech, a big... Uh, Kickoff return all the way down to the 21 yard line. Four plays late, later, Josiah Little running into the end zone. We still had 10.05 to play in the first quarter. Franklin <laughs> Tech was up 6 0. Anyway, okay, well, uh, Yetter threw the ball tomorrow for the two point conversion, made it 8 0. And then Franklin Tech, an onside kick, get the ball and then drive the field again. Tyler Yetter this time capping it off with a three yard run. Josiah Little ran in the two point conversion, make it 16 to nothing. And then here in the second quarter, we saw the two yard run by Tyler Yetter again for the 22 nothing lead. And Yetter ran it in for the two point conversion around the end to make it 24 to nothing. And again for the Greenfield offense, they put up some numbers. Mason Cummings has actually completed four of seven passes for 90 yards. It just the one drive they had, Franklin Tech clamped down. And boy, there's just no consistency in this game for Greenfield really in any way right now. Yeah, a couple big turnovers too for the Greenfield Green Wave as they try desperately to just get into uh, the opposite end of the field. And it's just had a hard time uh, doing so. A lot of bad plays and turnovers that definitely uh, benefited the Franklin County Tech squad. We'll be back with more. It's halftime here at the Franklin County Tech Field. In Turner's Falls, the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's the Tech Eagles 24, the Greenfield Green Wave 0. High school football on Bear Country 95.3. And we are back at Franklin County Tech for the start of the third quarter. Franklin County Tech kicking off to the Greenfield Green Wave. It's uh, caught uh, by number 12. And uh, that is Mr. Patel able to uh, bring the ball back out to the uh, Greenfield Green Wave 30, looks like. Yeah, not bad starting field position. But again, you look at the clock, you look at the scoreboard, you're down 24 nothing. Did some good things on offense, unable to score, but if they could put together a good drive here, again, they've got some athletes, they have some offensive weapons, and they need to get them going pretty quick here. Hi, head coach from the Greenfield Green Wave, Mike Kaczewski, talking to his team during halftime, trying to make a, a battle plan for the second half here at Franklin County Tech. From the shotgun, Greenfield Green Wave, man in motion, Patel, ball is out, to the far side, and he's able to get about three, maybe three, maybe two yards. Will be second and eight for the Greenfield Green Wave. It looked like a little bit of an option there, and then Cummings just decided he was going to tuck that under, took it over the left side, had some blockers out in front. Ended up gaining a couple of yards. So four carries, 25 yards for Mason so far in this one. Second down. High School Football on Bear Country 95.3 brought to you by the Original Tire Company. That's Joe over in Athol at the Original Tire Company. Also thanks to our friends at Deerfield Pharmacy for helping us out with the broadcast each and every Friday night. Speaking of Athol, I believe that's where you two will be next Friday night. Now jump between the Senators and the, and the Bears. And the snap, the throw to uh, Eric Martineau. Yeah, we'll and it looks flag. like there's a flag. Yeah, again, unfortunate for the Greenfield offense when they just start to get something going, if that's going to be against them. But Martineau with a good catch over the middle, and yeah, that's going to come back. we coming back for the Greenfield Green Wave. Flag is on the field. And it's going to be a hold against them. Third penalty of the game. All three against the Wave. It's cost them 20 yards. So they will 
carry the sticks back. It'll be second and maybe 13. Yeah, it's going to be uh, 18, 18 there. Yeah, I'll add five more to my total. Yeah, so again, the Greenfield offense looks like they got a little bit going on, and then all of a sudden, a bad penalty there. Second down, 17 for the Greenfield Green Wave. Out of the shotgun. Cummings. Man in motion is Patel. Back and tackled right after catching the ball for a loss. That is number 84, Angel Pottis. He ends up, that's the uh, sophomore for the Greenfield Green Wave. Yeah, big pressure coming in there on the quarterback. He had to unload that thing, polite as he had, but he was in the backfield making the catch, and then he got hit immediately. So, yeah, even though it's a completed pass, it's going to be a loss. I'm going to push him all the way now to... I think that's going to be a maybe 21. Yeah, third. Third and 21. Yeah. It's going to be a, a long yardage situation. We'll see what the Green Wave come up with. They were looking to start off this second half with some big plays answer all the scores done by the green, by the uh, Franklin County Tech squad and it's a fake and a deep pass Eric Martino just could not pull it in I like the play I like the shot there and again Cummings has got the arm to make that throw Martino he had streaking down there and he had beaten the defense he was behind them but just slightly overthrown. That would have got them down inside the Tech 40. Let's see if this is a, is this third down or fourth it down? It says fourth on the bunker. Yep, fourth down. Fourth down and a lot of yardage to go. Yeah, it looks, it looks like we're gonna yeah, get gonna, a punt here. They're gonna set up the punt. Obviously it's deep in their own territory, it makes sense. Kicking off to Franklin County Tech, awaiting the ball on his own 40. Cummings back there to punt. Yeah, long snap count here, yeah. It's a high snap. Ball's down, ball is up and kicked. And they let it fall. Green wave, a ball ends up rolling out of bounds at the Franklin County Tech 48. So we will take a quick break here from the Lundgren Honda broadcast booth in the third quarter. Franklin County Tech 24 and the Greenfield Green Wave 0 from the Lundgren Honda Scoreboard High School Football on Bear Country 95.3. Back here at Franklin County Tech for high school football. Franklin County Tech with their first possession of the second half and Little takes off and running. Sean, touchdown for Little, a big play on first down, their first possession of the second half. And it's just a continuation of the first half for the Franklin County Tech Eagles. 52 yards for Josiah Little, that was his 17th carry. He's now got 160 yards and a pair of scores here against Greenfield. And just, it's been so fun to watch that kid again. First time we've ever seen a kid run for a thousand yards in four years. Freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. He's looking up the barrel of 2,000 yards with the numbers he's putting up right now. Yeah, he's putting up big numbers, and it looks like the Franklin County Tech Eagles are going to go for two. With 30 points on the board right now. And the snap is taken by Yetter. Yetter. Is still in the backfield, running, chased. Yetter looks to get a block. He is in for the two points. Yetter scores two for Franklin County Tech. Piling it on, 32 now, 32 unanswered points for the Franklin County Tech Eagles. We'll be back with more from the Lundgren Honda broadcast booth. The Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's the Franklin County Tech Eagles 32, the Greenfield Green Wave nothing. High School Football on Bear Country 95.3. Back at Franklin County Tech. Tech kicking off after another touchdown with their first possession in the third half. Kicking the ball off to a number seven. That's Caleb Murray. And the tackle is made at the 40 yard line by the Franklin County Tech Eagles. 
Greenfield Green Wave looking to put something together. It's a full moon. It's Friday night high school football on Bear Country. I was going to say, that is a beautiful shot right there, though. Full moon over the field. And field in pretty good condition considering the time of the year. A couple of little dirt spots. They were, they've been playing soccer on this field as well. Yeah, so. uh, multiple sports on this field. Yeah, not a, not a bad-looking uh, field for the time of year. A big crowd here. Yep, you got the Eagles soccer, boys and girls soccer teams playing on this field during the week. Game earlier tonight, so we're getting here. The, the ladies. So the Greenfield Green Wave looking to put something together on their own 40-yard line. Cummings out of the shotgun, trying to get the pass off to Patel. It's a missed catch by Patel. It'll be second down and 10. Yeah, threw out in front of him just a little bit. Patel, I believe, get the right hand, maybe just the fingertips on it as it whizzed by him. 9 0 1 to go in this third quarter. Cummings 5 of 10, passing 87 yards. Hit Murray a couple times for 48 yards. Martineau has a catch for 40. Chris Patel has a catch for just two yards. Of course, he had the big one called back on a penalty. Would have gone for 40. Greenfield Green Wave as Cummings is up. Takes the snap and the handoff. And not too far for the ball runner. The handler of the ball goes right up front. Maybe one again. or two yards for the Green Wave. Yeah, they've really bottled up Angel Politis again. We've seen him have some big weeks, and thus far, six carries, and they're going to give him, what, three there, so 15 yards on the ground. So, yeah, the Franklin Tech, not just the offense clicking tonight, but the defense really locking down. Politis really having a hard time getting to the outside, you know, where he can really pick up some speed. Yeah, he's a big kid. He's strong. He usually can break a tackle or drag a guy with him ways, and, yeah, six carries, 15 yards so far for him. Patel on the outside. Cummings from the, uh, is under center. Cummings goes back, able to throw, and a completion to number 11, Brior. Brior gets the first down. They're going to move the chains, Sean. Yeah, first catch of the night for John again. Big, strong kid, athletic, 6'5", 190 pounds, and got that ball going over the middle. Had to go a little high to make the catch, but did that now. Greenfield inside Franklin Tech territory down to the Tech 44. It'll be first and 10 for them there. First and 10 for the Greenfield Green Wave. Their first, first down of the second half. Mason Cummings getting the plays from head coach Mike Kuczewski of the Greenfield Green Wave. First time that they're in the Franklin County Tech side of the field, I think, this game. They got down there once. Remember that one drive, their opening drive, they got down inside the 10. From the 44 and the run. Able to pick up a yard or two before he's tackled. And it looks as though. It was not Politis. No, that, that was Golston. Jared Golston is the other guy that we'll see out of the backfield. That's his first carry of the night. That was number 38. So it's two and second. Not. Jared Golston. Eric there you go. Helping, uh, yeah. helping out our yeah, fellow we help each other. We listen to him. He helps us. We do that. Yeah, oh, yeah. So of course. Of course. Second down. Greenfield Green Wave. Cummings back out. Looking for a receiver. Able to get away from two Eagles. Not so far. Able to get the ball off. And it's intercepted. Intercepted by Franklin County Tech. Tackle is made just after midfield by Eric Martineau. And there's another turnover by the Greenfield Green Wave. Not that there's any a good time for a turnover, but it seems as though yeah, a little the bit going on there, and then yeah, the end. Green Wave are just making the mistakes at the worst time, but there's a flag on the field. Cummings was getting dragged down as he threw that ball. It ended up being Zadrian Almed that picked it off, and now we're going to check the flag. But I believe the flag came in at the end of the play, which would mean Franklin Tech still has the ball, even if that is against them. We'll see. Uh, legal man downfield against Greenfield. So, yeah, that's obviously going to be declined by Franklin Tech. And Franklin Tech will take over right about, looks like their own 46-yard line. So just after the getting into the Franklin County Tech part of the field, the second time tonight for the Greenfield Green Wave, they give up the ball. And that's the first interception of the night thrown by Mason. He was being rushed there and being yeah. chased by two.
two Eagles, yeah, was but on. was able to get the ball off, but it wasn't an accurate throw at all. On his way to the ground. And yeah, I mean, again, it had some, had some strength on it, but he was on his way down, not accurate, as you just said. It was the Franklin Tech player that made the interception, and now, after we sort this out, let's see what we got. Oh, they just say it's so Greenfield ball. All right. Second and five on the Eagle 40 yard All right, so the Greenfield Green Wave. You well, might have to explain this. They, one well, no, me. no. I, somebody's going to have to explain this to me. There were two penalties. There were, now, he pointed that there was an illegal man downfield for Greenfield. He never indicated a penalty against Franklin Tech. Now, it looks like they offset each other. Yeah. So, Cummings able to hand it off. And a big run here by 84, Politis. Nice He's able to Politis. get the first down. And they are well into Franklin County Tech territory now. Looking to put some points on the board. Trying to get Politis going all night long. And he just doubled his output on that one carry. He had six carries for 15 yards. He got 15 on that one. So six, seven carries now, They're 30 on, yards for Politis. Uh, Franklin County Tech 26. Yeah, their opening drive. Remember, they got down inside the 10-yard the line. And then uh, Franklin Tech caused him to turn it over on downs there. That was the deepest penetration, but still no scoring for the Wave. But they're on the doorstep. Fresh set of downs for the Greenfield Green Wave with 5.49 left to go in this third quarter. It's a handoff again to Politis. Politis doing a little dancing, able to avoid two tackles before he's brought down. And a nice job there, a draw play. Cummings held the ball for quite a long time. It, what happened there is it sucked the defenders back into coverage, and then they were able to get the ball to Politis. And even though he was deep in suddenly, the backfield, he was able to make a good run of about 11 yards. Suddenly the Greenfield uh, Green Wave, or rather the Franklin County Tech Eagles, are having a hard time uh, pulling down number 84. Yeah, he struggled the first half. But, yeah, a couple of runs here in the second half got him going. Again, eight carries now, 40 yards. Another fresh set of downs. Talk, uh, clock continues to run. We're at five minutes now left in the third with the Greenfield Green Wave and their biggest opportunity of the night so far. Cummings takes the snap. Hands off. Up the front. No yardage. No gain there for the Greenfield Green Wave. Yeah, Politis right back to the line of scrimmage. Then getting dragged down. The Eagles finally getting a hold of Politis. Looks like, uh, well, I guess it's, it's true with every... Uh, Every running back, it's so much easier to tackle him when you have a buddy there tackling him with yeah, you. A couple, three friends around helps a lot. Yeah, again, Politis ran for 177 yards in that game we had against Frontier, and that's not a terrible defense. And last week, 150 yards against the Senators. And here we go. From the shotgun, Cummings, and it's a reverse play, and he's in trouble. The throw is made to the end zone. Oh, no catch. It was Caleb Murray with the throw. He was being run down. Yeah, he had John Brior there, and he was kind of open for a minute. He had two uh, Green Wave receivers in the end zone to choose from. Yeah, I'm looking to see who it was that came up and made that play. I think that was number 12. I think that was Yetter, yeah, that came up and was able to knock that ball down. But that looked like a touchdown pass about three-quarters of the way there. He definitely had the time to... Get the ball down the field. Good throw. Now third down. They're on the 15. And again from the shotgun. He goes back. Cummings has an open man. And he is running and he is right there. He might be on the two or three. Boy, I thought if he had just gone straight, he decided to cut it across the face of the goal line. It looks like they're going to stop him just outside the goal line. It'll be a first and goal, though, for the Green Wave. Knocking on the door. Greenfield Green Wave with 3.44 left in the third quarter. Greenfield Green Wave with three turnovers on the evening so far, and that has stifled all of their offensive tries against the Franklin County Tech Eagles. The Eagles getting the turnovers uh, right when they need them. But now the Greenfield Green Wave, it's first and goal, and who do you think this ball's going to? Well, it's going to be tough to stop Politis here, although they're going to line up in the shotgun. Well, let's see. Politis and looks like Patel in the backfield. 
Man in mo Patel in motion. And the ball. Oh, it, Cummings taken down in the backfield as he was trying to escape. That was a designed run for him. He had a couple of guys out front blocking, but yeah, the Tech defense sniffed that out. He's going to lose about three or four yards on that run. So it's going to be second down and six now. I thought they might try that draw with Politis there. He had Politis by his side in the shotgun formation. And instead, he used Politis as blocker as everybody went left. And again, Franklin Tech sniffed that out. So again from the shotgun, and it looks like it's going to be Cummings. Cummings. Cummings able to step back, steps forth, and he's going to take it himself, Sean. And he is in. In for the touchdown. First score of the night. It's Mason Cummings for the Greenfield Green Wave. And they are on the scoreboard, putting up six. Just able to pound that ball in, Sean. Yeah, nice job by them. Again, you're down by 32. You've really had not a lot go your way. You just turned the ball over again. And so for them to put that drive together and then to cap it with that nice run by Cummings, that's got to feel good. I don't know if we're going to have a ball game yet, but at least that helps a little as Greenfield's going to go for two points, obviously, here on the conversion. Sure, yeah, they're going to go for two. Greenfield, Green Wave, exactly what they needed. A little spark for the Green Wave. You got some points on the board. You're going to try to tack on two more here. Cummings, he's able to find a receiver in the end zone. Martino. And that's going to be an extra two. And we are able to put some points on the board for the Greenfield Green Wave. We'll take a break right now. It's the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard reading the Franklin County Tech Eagles 32, the Greenfield Green Wave 8. High school football on Bear Country 95.3. And we are back in the Lundgren Honda Broadcast booth from Franklin County Tech. High school football on a Friday night. Tech uh, in front of the Greenfield Green Wave, 32-8. As the Greenfield Green Wave with their first kickoff of the night after a score. We'd like to thank Prescott Oil, Angie, and the whole family over at Prescott Oil for sponsoring our high school football season here on Bear Country. And it's a short kick by the Greenfield Green Wave. Uh, the plan there. Didn't exactly go according to plan there, Sean. Yeah, not, not exactly an onside kick, but more kind of those line drive toppers where you're trying to hit one of those up men and maybe have that ball kind of bounce off him. But went through the first line of guys, bounced right up to the yep. second wave there, and it was fielded at the 40-yard line, just as smartly took a knee there, and that's where Franklin Tech will start this drive. Start this drive. This will be their second drive of the second half with 2.18 left in the third quarter. We've had some big runs. Uh, as uh, advertised, a couple of these uh, players on Franklin County Tech, uh, specifically number 20, Josiah Little, with some big-time plays, and he gets the ball for this first play, but is able to, he's uh, wrapped up there by the Greenfield Green Wave. He picks up three. It will be second down and seven. Yeah, so we talked about his freshman year. So now his sophomore year, Josiah, he needed 79 yards on Thanksgiving morning to reach that 1,000-yard mark, and he got 206 yards against Smith Volk. So he finished his sophomore year with 1,131 yards after his freshman campaign of 1,003. We'll get to his junior year here soon. I am Tell sure we will. That. Yetter up under center now. Second down. Franklin County Tech looking to get into the Greenfield Green Wave Part of the field, the ball is run up the front, not able to get anywhere, is Lil. Maybe a yard, maybe, maybe a half a yard. It's going to be third down, third down and seven. Now, Josiah Little's junior year. Oh, yeah, also, let's listen to these numbers. The 50-50 hasn't been claimed. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> did you get one? No, I did not. <sighs> Why not? Five, six, one, Five. six. I was trying to find the press box. Six four, yeah. For 300 bucks, bucks, yeah, big crowd. Yeah. Uh, one minute left in the third quarter now. It's third down for the Franklin County Tech Eagles. Yetter back, looking for his receiver. Ball is batted by the Greenfield Green Wave. Yeah, big John Brior in there. Yeah, he knew he got a hold of the ball. He was looking around for it. Always in the last spot you look there, John. And yeah. Unable to get the turnover there. The it's going to be fourth down and the... Eagles are going to have to punt now. Yeah, most likely punt this away. Abrior got his big mitts up there and knocked that in the air. And Yeah, if he'd been able to track it a little more quicker, he might have come up with the INT, but it fell 
to the ground. Incomplete pass, so yet or now. Just one of three passing, only had three passes. So the Franklin County Tech Eagles set up. Their punter is Tanner Biagni. Oh, and a big punt. Big time kick down the field. The Green Wave let it roll. And it looks like it's going to be on the 18. Why, John Greer was back there too, and he feels like he should have gotten a hold of that football. He tried to avoid hitting the punter. Of course, that's a penalty, and he avoided the punter, but I think it cost him the shot at hitting the ball as well. He was able to get the kick off, and it was a good kick there. Yeah, good kick, high. Took a nice uh, Franklin Tech bounce, a little roll at the end down. We're gonna mark that thing about the uh, 20, inside the 20, about the 19 yard line, I guess is where it'll start. So Josiah Little, again, we're just finishing that up, his junior year, he went into Thanksgiving morning again needing yards mm -hmm. to get to 1,000 yards. So he made us wait until Thanksgiving morning. Of course, that year he rushed for 205 to get himself to 1,093 yards. And game six this year, and Josiah a little over 1,000 yards. Just a great year so far, and he's still churning it out. Well, we'll see what the Greenfield Green Wave can do here. Last possession. Ended up with a touchdown. Cummings with the run. Cummings now. Man in motion. Hand off. Goes up the middle. Gain of two on the play will bring up a second and eight. Only two yards gained. Twenty-one yard line. For I believe that was was that Politis? That was Politis yep. on the carry. Yeah, ten carries, forty-two yards. Most of those here in the second half had a couple of big runs on that touchdown drive and Trying to get the big man going again. Looks as though Greenfield's going to take a timeout here. Is at the end of the quarter. We've got 13 seconds. Clock is running. And that's the end of the quarter. And, yeah, we'll take a break here, too. It's high school football on Bear Country 95.3. The Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The Eagles 32. The Green Wave 8. High school football on a Friday night on Bear Country 95.3. And we are back at Franklin County Tech. For the beginning of the fourth quarter, Franklin County Tech 32, Greenfield Green Wave 8. We would like to thank Sandry, also Whitty's Funeral Home of Orange, and Mallory and Schmidt for sponsoring tonight's broadcast on Bear Country 95.3. You know, we're doing the calculation, running time. Uh, how many points do we need? We need 30 in the fourth quarter. Yeah, we're not quite there yeah, yet. Came up by 30, right. So Franklin Tech, if they uh, score again, then we would move to running time and you know, you're just talking about the sponsors, and uh, you were pretty impressed. So you, you come in here, and you see the, the Lundgren Honda press, book, uh, press box here, and, you know, it's amazing. They move this every week for us, so no matter where we go, <laughs> we are in the Lundgren Honda press box. Well, you know, they, I don't know how they do it. They, they, uh, I don't know how they do it. They know, they know wheels. They know where we're going to be. They know how to move things. They're going to be in Athol next week. They are. We're going to have the uh, Athol Bears and the Mahar Senators coming up next Friday night. And here we go with the uh, Greenfield Green Wave. Ball is passed downfield. Open man. Oh, in and out of the hands oh. of Martineau. Eric Martineau. He had to come back to that just a little bit. But Mason Cummings threw that with everything he had. And I'll tell you what, if you ask Martineau, he'll tell you he should have caught that. But it was a little awkward as he had to come back, and he just couldn't quite get it. Yeah, that was almost the perfect That's play. That's what they needed right almost there. Almost the perfect play yeah. for the Greenfield Green Wave. So they'll be back. Back on their own 20. Yeah, Martino's going to come off the field now, get a breath. And yeah, he's going to wish he'd caught that one. He's going to feel like he should have. And, and again, we had him a few weeks back, and kids scored in every which way possible. He was just a menace. <laughs> Big game for him, and yeah, tonight a little bit quieter. A couple catches, 53 yards, but big one right there. That was an opportunity. Yeah, the big senior, 6'4". Yeah. Martineau, they're back on the line. It's third down with eight to go for the Greenfield Green Wave. Cummings under center. Takes the ball and hands it off. Back, back to uh, Politis. Politis running up the gut. Yeah, that was that deep handoff that they did earlier, and it actually worked really well with Politis gaining, I think, 11 yards on that run. This time here, Tech stayed home, recognizing that and able to make the stop. It's going to be fourth down now for the way, fourth and about five. And, you know, with this big score differential, you may want to think about going here, but it looks like Greenfield is going to set up the punt. Yeah, they uh, looking at the clock with uh, just over 11 minutes left in the fourth quarter. 
Let's see if we see a and fake here. Yeah, I think there might be a fake because we don't have a, a Franklin County Tech player downfield at the moment. Yeah, they're all packed in as if they're Greenfield's going to run a play here. Yeah, and... Now somebody's run chopping deep. And now the Tech players are back. Ball lands right at midfield and uh, takes a Franklin County Tech bounce. And uh, we will be setting up about the 40, yeah, 47 is where they're going to start. 47 for the Franklin County Tech Eagles. Let's take a quick break, and we'll be back with more action. The Lundgren Honda broadcast booth here at Franklin County Technical School. The Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard reads Franklin County Tech 32 and the Greenfield Green Wave 8. Fair Country 95.3. And we're back at Franklin County Tech. We're into the fourth quarter now. The Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Tech 32, and Greenfield Green Wave 8. Tech with the ball. Uh, now on their own 47-yard line. It's first down. We've seen some big uh, runs this evening by Josiah Little, who gets the ball and is uh, wrapped up right there at the line of scrimmage. There will be no gain for Tech on that play. Uh, again, Josiah needed just 10 yards coming in tonight for his fourth consecutive 1,000-yard rushing season, and he got that done on the opening possession with a 9-yard run to cap a 13-yard drive that he had run, and he's up to 162 yards now. Smart is your wide receiver on our side. Yetter with the snap. Hands off. And the tackle is quick. We have a flag on the play. Yeah, a couple yards there for Little, and flag came in late. And I think that might be a face mask. Let's see what we have here. Uh, number 11 on the Greenfield Green yeah, Wave. Yeah, I think he was. Yeah, you know, he's he's a big guy, and Joe Zai is kind of smaller there. And I think when he went to make the tackle, he just got the hand up around the face. I didn't see any intent there, but. Got the face mask as he was making the tackle. That's going to tack on another 15 yards. Yeah, that's a big penalty for the Greenfield Green Wave. And now the Tech Eagles will be deep into the Greenfield Green Wave part of the field. And it will be first down. First down and 10 with Yetter under center. And the snap and the handoff. A little bit again, and he's tackled right in the backfield. Maybe he got a yard or two, or maybe four. Yeah, you can mark him up there a little bit, kind of squeeze through there. And kids always falling forward, always getting the extra yard at the end of the run. We'll give him four there. Okay. Second and seven for the Eagles. And Cummings getting the play. So we are in a situation here, too. We may have just mentioned briefly, but yeah, Franklin Tech with a 24-point lead here in the fourth quarter. If they were to score on this drive, extend the lead to 30, the clock would go to running time for the remainder of the game. So that's not going to leave Greenfield much time at all if they're going to try to get back in this thing. Yet under setter. Takes a snap. Brings it up. Able to grab a couple of yards for Yetter. And that was two and seven. Got about three or four yards. We'll see where they end up spotting the ball now. We'll keep her there for Yetter. They're going to actually move him up. Going to give him a third and two here. All right, third and two now for the Franklin County Tech squad. Again, a big hand, a big crowd here on on site. I had to park over on the Greenfield side. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, again. This is. Uh, I might need a golf cart ride back to my car. <laughs> yeah, they, that, they, they, might, they, they might have one. And now the snap, yeah, and it's uh, handed off. Little there again. No, I think it was Yetter with the keeper again. Oh, Yetter with the sneak, and he's able to move the chains. It'll be a first down for the Franklin T County Tech Eagles as they. Take some more time off the clock now. We're getting close to eight minutes left in the in the quarter. Yeah, this is a good drive here for Tech, really putting this thing away, just possessing possessing the ball. And that was the eighth carry for Yetter tonight, 31 yards. He's only attempted three passes in this one. He completed one of those for seven yards, but they have not had to throw the ball to build the big lead. Fresh set of downs for the Franklin County Tech Eagles. Yetter. And a snap, and again he takes it. Huh. Wow. 
He's not giving up that ball, That's, Sean. Uh, you know, again, uh, I, I don't hate the theory. I mean, you got the big lead. You want to whittle down some clock. They're going to give you three yards every time he takes that ball up the middle himself. He'll keep doing that. Did you say something about there's a, a baseball something with a team from somewhere in New York or something that you said might be playing or something? Yeah, they what are. Is it? Yeah? yeah, they are. How are they doing? Well, last night, not so good. <laughs> but today, a little bit better. Little but bit the, better. as we found out last night, the game isn't over yet. It's going to be Yankees-Dodgers, isn't it? Oh, really? I think You're already is. going you there, You think huh? so? I think so. Yeah, it's that way. I don't even know what happened to the Mets this afternoon. All right, back here at Franklin County Tech, and it's the handoff. We've got number 10. That's little. Down to the five-yard line. And he is within five yards now of the uh, end zone as he's finally brought down. Another 18 yards there. Oh, 18 Josiah. yards went pretty quick there for little. Yeah. And it'll be first and goal now. 186 yards in this game. Looking for another score, Franklin County Tech. Yeah, Josiah Little has two rushing touchdowns already in this game. Tyler Yetter also a pair of running touchdowns, a three-yarder and a two-yarder. So Yetter brings his troops to the line. He'll be under center again. First and goal. First and goal, five yards. And passes off and looking for the end zone. Touchdown for the Franklin County Tech Eagles. Little with another score for the Eagles here on Friday night. You know, it, it just it's now this is just getting to be the regular thing now, Josiah. He doesn't just rush for 100 yards anymore. Kids rushing for two, almost 300 yards a game. This game tonight, 191 yards, 24 carries. That is his third touchdown of the night. A lot of speed there. You know, you could definitely tell that he's on a he's on a different track than his defenders. They're yeah. having a hard time keeping up with him. Came into this game with 13 touchdowns. He's added three more. And they're looking for two. Pass play doesn't work out. As Yetters gets taken down in the backfield. Yetter taken down by number five, Everett Allen. And it's going to be, well, only six that time for the for the Eagles. Now they're up by 30, 38 to 8. And that will invoke what we had just mentioned, the running time. Running pretty quick now off the scoreboard. The uh, Oh, I got Art up here in the box. He's uh, yeah. running the clock. I was looking for the sign from down on the field from the lead official. Trying to get his attention. Let him know, yeah, this is 30 points right now. That is the rule. Fourth quarter, 30 point lead. And should be uh, letting that clock run. No indication from the umpire, so I guess we're going to proceed as normal at the moment. Okay. But Franklin Tech again. Josiah Little, third touchdown of the night. Franklin County Tech will be kicking off now. Greenfield ready to receive. And the ball, that's number three on the Greenfield Green Wave, Arsenal. Arsenal brings it to mid, about the 41. Let's see. Uh, Gavin score a touchdown late in that game last week. Came in as the backup quarterback in the last few minutes. He took a keeper. About 40 yards into the end zone for a touchdown. Arsenault is the sophomore for the Greenfield Green Wave. It looks as though we're going to see him in here for the rest of this game at quarterback. Going to get believe. some time under center. And yeah, it's going to be him. He did a so Arsenault is going to uh, take over for Cummings. Arsenal. No, wait a minute. Who got in there? No, that's Murray now back there. You got is that Murray seven? Yeah, number yeah. seven. No, no, that is three. I'm sorry. That's Arsenal. And yeah, the handoff, the handoff goes to Politis. Politis gets about seven on the play. Yeah, so we won't see Caleb Murray at quarterback at all. It looks like now we thought he might alternate a little bit with Cummings, but they were rode Cummings the entire way until now. And now it's Arsenal in. Down to six minutes now, left in the game. 
Greenfield. We're going to put some more points on the board. And Arsenal getting the play from the Greenfield head coach, Mike Kaczewski. The green wave to the ball. Lining up. And Arsenal under center. Ball is hiked and oh, passed out. off. Ball's out. Oh, ball's on the ground and Franklin County Tech Eagles. Well, they got it. Do they have possession? Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah, the fourth turnover of the night by the Greenfield offense. Third fumble recovery for Tech. An interception in this one as well. And that is just going to about do it if it hadn't already been done. Yep. I believe that, was that Pilatus with the yeah, carry? Yeah, Just wasn't able to hold on to it right at midfield. Kind of popped out of there. Now Max Burnett coming into the game. Probably seen the last of Josiah Little for tonight. The other's still in the quarterback though. Uh, and yeah, it is Max and Burnett out there at running back. Max Burnett, the running back for the Franklin County Tech Eagles. Keep an eye on this kid. He can run, too. Another one, huh? No, he's quick. What are they doing over yeah, there? Yeah, same size, same speed. And a handoff. Oh. And 11. Oh, he finds a hole. And he's running down to the sideline. Finally taken down. That might be a horse collar. Oh, yeah, absolutely. A bad tackle at the end of that 30-yard game by Burnett. Yeah, got up around the neck making the tackle. It's going to tack on another 15 yards at the end of that. Yeah, and that's going to put them right at the line, I think. Yeah, see where they're going to spot this ball. I mean, that's got to be there. They're talking about it right now, but that was a pretty obvious call, I think. Yeah, he grabbed them right around the collar and twisted them around. Should be a personal foul. Yeah, so absolutely what they're saying. So. Five penalties tonight, all five against Greenfield. Franklin Tech has not been penalized tonight. It looks like, I think that was a face mask, too. He called for a face mask, and that that's going to bring them right up to the goal line. Yeah, it's going to be a half the distance if they weren't inside the 15. They're going to mark it inside the 10 down to the 9-yard line. So it will be first and goal for Franklin County Tech after the big play. Two bad penalties for the Greenfield Green Wave. Not what you needed. Two minutes left in the game. Two minutes and 20 seconds. We have a running clock here almost, at the Tech School. Say, almost too early to start taking the knee here. I'm not sure. Yetter able to hand it off. And the tackle is made right about the two. So they do run a play, headed to Sabalescu, who takes it down inside the five. Yeah, all the way down to, yeah, it looks like just outside the goal line. And it'll be second and goal. Second and goal. About a minute and 43 left. Tech has now just taken their time. Yeah, I actually, at this point, I... I they may not even run a play. You might just take a knee here. We'll see how aggressive they need to be. They want to be here, but they certainly don't need to be. Yet are still under center. And timeout called. Timeout called by Greenfield. And that will stop the clock with 123. Yep, Greenfield took the timeout. All right, so we're going to take a timeout as well. The Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard here at Franklin County Tech. The Eagles are up 38-8 to over the Greenfield Green Wave High School Football on Bear Country 95.3. And we're back. The Lungan Honda broadcast booth here at Franklin County Tech. We are deep in the fourth quarter. Franklin County Tech with a big lead now over the Greenfield Green Wave. And Tech far into the Greenfield zone with... And he's going to take the knee, yeah, that's Sean. Classy move right there. Yeah, just like you thought. It was second and three. Three yards out for the Franklin County Tech Eagles. Yeah, you get yourself a 30 point lead. I mean, you could probably run that in pretty easily there, but yeah, again, these coaches, they coach against each other. They'll see each other again, and there oh, might sure. be a situation where <laughs> Mike Kaczewski could lay one on <laughs> Joe Gamash, and, you know, he might think twice about that. So in this situation, that's the, that's the classy move right there. Again, you've got the game. It's in hand. Uh, you don't need additional statistics uh, unless you're one of them guys, and uh, Jokomash is not. 
we don't need this. We're just going to let the clock run out and, uh, yep. and take our big win. And that's, again, a classy move by him. 40 seconds left as the Eagles come to the line of scrimmage. And we'll see him take another knee here. And that will be the ball game as the time ticks off here at the Franklin County Tech facility. 19 seconds left. Yeah, they're going to start lining up now. Yep. With that team clicked down. Both teams lining up at midfield for the good game. And we'll take a quick break, too, from the Longwood Honda broadcast booth at Franklin County Tech. That's the game. 38-8 to eight with the Tech Eagles in the win. We'll be back with a recap on Bear Country 95.3. Back here at Franklin County Tech, game is over, and the Franklin County Tech Eagles celebrating at midfield, Sean. I'll tell you, this is this program, you know, we've been coming around here a long time, and early, early days, Joe Gamash would apologize to us because, you know, we'd roll in and Commerce would roll in with their two bus loads of kids, <laughs> and it would be a 58 to nothing smackdown, and Joe would die. I'm so sorry, you know. So this, to see this build as it has, and to see them... I don't know if they're going to reach their pinnacle this season, yeah. but they're certainly approaching it. Oh, yeah. Uh, the kids on this team have bought in. They've got a big squad. They're talented. They're deep. And uh, Josiah Little leading the way. And just, uh, I'm so happy to see these kids. I saw, I wasn't sure what they were doing. Him and Almond were standing. They were going to bust out a little dance or something. And they both did a backflip. And everybody's cheering. And those kids are having a lot of fun. And why not? They're winning ball games. They're playing good ball. Not a single penalty call, at least as a coach. You know, when you beat a team up, you want to at least yell about something, right? Usually it's the penalties. Well, you shouldn't have made the penalties. It's not going to hurt us in a close game. They didn't commit a penalty tonight. Not one penalty against this Franklin Tech team. Yeah, and uh, all sorts of celebrating is happening uh, down on the field from the Franklin County Tech Eagles. The Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the final score, Franklin County Tech 38, and the Greenfield Green Wave 8. High school football on Bear Country 95.3.